Inflammasomes are multi-protein complexes that regulate the secretion of pro-inflammatory cytokines IL-1-beta and IL-18, as well as regulating pyroptosis of the cell in response to an inflammatory stimulus. In this review, we cover what is already known about the canonical pathway of the inflammasome activation and bring together the latest findings to unravel the mechanisms underlying caspase 11 mediated activation of the recently identified non-canonical inflammasome. The canonical pathway is activated when a pathogen is detected. When lipopolysaccharide LPS binds to toll-like receptor 4, this receptor activates the downstream signaling pathway, either MyD88 dependent or independent, which in turn passes the signal all the way to the nucleus. NF-kappa B or IRF3 becomes activated and switches on the transcription machinery to increase the expression of procaspase 1 and procaspase 11 and pro-inflammatory genes R1-beta and IL-18. These cytokines are produced as inactive precursors, so they must be cleaved to perform their biological functions. This requires a second signal. If a second inflammatory stimulus such as a pathogen or a damage-associated molecular pattern is detected, the formation of the inflammasome is triggered. The inflammasome initiates cleavage of pro-caspase 1 and pro-IL-1 beta and pro-IL-18, allowing the secretion of mature IL-1 beta and IL-18 from the cell. Now onto the recent identification of the non-canonical inflammasome pathway. When LPS is in abundance or contained within vacuoles, it is able to bypass TLR4 undetected. Guanylate binding proteins promote the lysis of these vacuoles, and LPS is able to enter the cytosol of the cell. But a second line of defence is waiting. Procaspase 11 is able to detect cytosolic LPS and initiate the formation of the inflammasome. This causes the release of cytokines from the cell by similar mechanisms as the canonical pathway, as well as pyroptosis of the cell, an inflammatory form of cell death. As with many host offences, the non-canonical inflammasome pathway can also be detrimental to the host, and research into the inflammasome pathway has great implications on the field of information research, including sepsis, inflammatory bowel diseases, and other inflammatory conditions. However, Many questions remain unanswered and many of the complex mechanisms involved in the non-canonical pathway are still not fully.